Hey everybody, this is Brian from PNB Homesteading. I wanted to show you the, uh, the monster tomato bag or boxes that uh, kind of tumbled down over the, the rain we had last night. They got a little too heavy and they snapped through some of the twine I had strung across these two poles. And so now I've got a mass of tomatoes hanging here. And you can see how big these guys are coming back in there. And there's one I got to harvest. There's another one down there, another one here. I mean, those are just huge. I need to get them off here because we're supposed to have rain possibly next weekend, you know, Friday, Saturday, or something like that. And these guys are going to probably just split like crazy if I don't get them off here, especially the ones that are, you know, close to ripe. So, yeah, the rain came and decided to tug down some of these tomatoes. So now they're hanging clear over. But we're getting a lot to store away for the winter. So we're going to have a lot of canned... Uh, canned and dehydrated tomatoes, which will be great for our, our winter stews and soups that Paula makes. Let's see if there's anything back here. Oh, that's right, I had the, the ones that are going crazy back here on the trellis. <laughs> they're, just, they're just going crazy. It's like, look at these guys. I can't even get through here to go harvest. I have to go crawl on my knees. Yeah, we got tons back here. Looks like our cabbage is doing really well. You can see the little head guy in there. There's a squash down there below. These leaves have gotten so tough now, it's like I don't think we could actually do much sauteing with these anymore because they're so veiny. You can see all the veins inside there. But I'll, uh, there's, a little bird. there's some more tomatoes over here that we need to probably pick this week. They're ripening up. Some more big ones back here. Another example of these. Look at those guys. Got a beautiful pink color onto them. Nice. Now I noticed with those German Johnson and the uh, Rose OG, they do have the uh, little bit tougher skin, so they don't split as much. So, like with a little bit of rain we have, I noticed with you know the past, you know. We had the brandy wines, and they would split when we got our, our fall rains. So well, that's kind of the update for the uh, the tomato jungle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go put some more videos together and get those up for you guys so you can uh, see what's going on in the indoor grow tents. All right, it's been Brian from pmbhomesteading.com. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.